Hello from Slovenia again. Today I have 16 by 16 inch canvas that I already flooded with the white base. And I have my paints kind of thinned down. Uh, doesn't leave any mound. And I will play with hair dryer again. And I will just pour some paint like that. This is Amsterdam greenish blue. Oh, and this is Amsterdam burnt sienna and Amsterdam raw umber and I'm leaving some white between I'm really not good at this but this is extreme sheen aquamarine I don't know about this one I hope that it will not totally take over and this one is burnt umber from Amsterdam and warm grey from Amsterdam and the last one will be Prussian phthalo from Amsterdam and I'm you know how I am with <laughs> blow dryer but I just want to play a little bit I'm just thinking that I want maybe a little more of this greenish blue. I will just add it here on the top of the extreme sheen one. And I will pop up the air bubbles because I have a ton of it. A ton of them. I will turn it around. Whoop. I'm using Molly stands. Molly stands. <laughs> okay. One more turn.
I know that I shouldn't have blown this more than once, but I don't know if I like that at all. I see some weird things happening here. I don't know if I maybe. did something to that while I was moving it, I don't know. I have really a lot of paint still here. will happen if I try. You see how much paint I still have on the canvas. What will happen if I stretch this? There. I think that I always use too much paint for my Dutch pores. Dutch pores when I use the blow dryer. And let's calm down. <coughs> to this white corner a little bit. Because now it's not what I was going for in the first place, so I don't necessarily want this white here. Okay. Let's go back to the middle. Well, maybe I want to go a little more to this part there. Sorry, probably you don't see nothing because I had my canvas. I normally tilt it towards myself, so like the colors but don't like the composition so I'm just thinking to maybe roll a marble through or something <coughs> Just one marble roll through the middle. <coughs> because where the, this uh, aquamarine extreme sheen paint was, I have this kind of weird cells that I don't like so. Let's do that. Let's see what will happen. Maybe I will go from here towards the side just to break this part a little bit that I think that it's just 
way too, I don't know, weird. Okay, one. And the second one I will start here and go towards there. I kind of like it, let's see where the weight of the paint is, if I have a little more room to play with, because I kind of want to break this part here too, so let's do it. it a little bit maybe with some swirls with the marble Not exactly what I was hoping for, but as I said, it's a lot of really interesting blending of colors and some cells and See one cell here. A lot of interesting details, but I don't know, and I love color combination. Not sure which orientation I like it the most, maybe this way. Uh, so, <laughs> from Dutch pour to stretching it out to some marbles, just don't give up. Sometimes we'll, you will get something nice and sometimes you will not, but I think that I will keep this one because of all this inter in interesting details and the color combination because I really like it. I think that my... Uh, What was that? Uh, Aquamarine Extreme Sheen wasn't the best thing to use here. 
uh, but anyway, this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!